Hi everyone, a very warm welcome back to the monthly Warner tournament from SD League. Today we are with a wooden box and team man plays for a game. Both veterans of the tournament so far, a wooden box playing as the second Panzer Grenadiers in blue on the left, and over on the right in red, we have team man players playing as the Unternehmen and Zentrum. Obviously, plenty of forward deployment forces there, the FS Jaeger forces, Jaeger Metis, some Jaeger Recon, some more Jaeger Metis down here. A lot of Leos coming in for a wooden box here. Oh wow, that is a lot of Leo 1A1A1s. I think we're going to see a bit of a hard push across the center with all of those tanks. Got the eye hawks as well. Just for air defense. A book at the back. We are seeing an SU-22 rocket coming in, going for that recon chopper in the center. Eye Hawk is engaging on it though. IHOC does the job. There goes that jet. A couple of HE bombers coming in here. Targeting these sets of units in the middle. And here come the Leo 1A1A1s. Nice strikes here. Book's getting some shots off. Those jets don't get any kills. In fact, that is barely damaged. In fact, they're not damaged at all. Those ones are damaged. Leo 1A1A1's doing the job here. Taking hits from the ATGMs and the Metis. Is there any other response to these tanks as yet? Not so far. HE Bomber coming in down here to try and clear up some of this. Obviously a wooden box has spent a lot on those tanks early game. He doesn't have much in the way of defences down here. Certainly going to be overwhelmed by all of these infantry. Those HE Bombers don't seem to be doing a huge amount. Cluster Bomber coming in here. This could be devastating with all these tanks all close together. Oh, it is veered off at the last second. All those tanks smoked briefly. Cluster is coming back round. Attacking this area here. No, nope, now firing farther. Oh, I think T-Man keeps changing its target. And it's veering off at the last second. Currently neutralized, slight point advantage to T-Man. Here comes that cluster on the front of here. Could get some good hits depending on the spread. No. It sort of hit right in the front. Obviously the graphics make it look like it was wider or deeper than that, but it's really not. Good push going on here for T-Man. He will take this point by the looks of it. A wooden box sort of stalled, managing to push in on these ATGM troops down here. Good spread of units at the top for T-Man as well. Commander just sat in this building here. Obviously can't be seen at the moment. Commander in at the bottom for T-Man. He has taken that point. It's currently plus four to T-Man. A wooden box certainly a lot of eggs in one basket. With all of these Leos, he needs to push aggressively here. He needs to find that command. He really needed to kill it. He's found it now. They will make short work of it. T-64 is coming in. That will cause issues for those Leo 1A1A1s. They're a lot weaker. Some reinforcements coming in down here. Though they're going to be a little bit late, I think. Rocket attack jet coming in here, going for that chopper again. Team man not enjoying having those recon choppers spying his stuff. Center is completely in control of a wooden box, but still plus one to team man plays. Leo's continuing to push here. He will secure the center, certainly. But whether... A wooden box can secure the back point or this point down here remains to be seen. Obviously, all of these units pushing right to the edge of this point to stop a wooden box getting back in there. A little bit of skirmishing at the top here. Those reinforcements now coming down from the top. Metis launch is being used to decent effect against these tanks currently. T-64 is almost here. These Leos reversing into that point. 
We now see the reinforcements coming in to take the bottom. Six Leos. Panzer Grenadiers. There's still one squad of Flams back here. T-64 definitely will cause issues for those Leopards. Looks here managing to clear up these little vehicles. Really good unit of the looks. You see people having great success in these tournament games with it. That's why I added it to my deck yesterday on stream. For my fifth Panzer. T-Man's pushing out here to see what's on the way. Just trying to keep the pressure on these Panzer Grenadiers and stuff. And any reinforcements that are coming in just gives T-Man a little bit of warning. Command is being called in there as well. Currently he's still plus one to T-Man. He has that nice advantage. Another tank coming in at the top there. And some motor stocky Metis. Metis here getting some shots. It, oh, I think that was a side shot or a rear shot on that tank. Instantly popped it. They do smoke. Command is being moved out now. Tanks coming in here. We'll make short work of this little vehicle. I think another tank. Yeah, another Metis got a tank. One tank remains here. Those Metis launches proving their worth. Sometimes they miss a lot, but when they get a hit, it's very worthwhile. I mean, if we take a quick peek... 17 penetration is pretty high and I mean the front armor on this is only seven so it's getting a good hit off when it hits Recon chopper in again. I expect we'll see a jet in in a few moments from T-Man Loads of reinforcements pushing towards the center here. Very good use of a chopper as well. There are eye hawks there now up on the mound it's a good thing to bring in against these tanks at the front. Ihawks don't have the best range against choppers, so T-Man should be able to keep out of range. T-64 here, showing its metal, taking very little damage from the Leo, but dishing it out. Leo firing from range here. Is still in range of that Metis, though. Oh, front armor hit. More Leos coming down. ATGM troop firing from the side here. Will it get a side shot? Yes, it does. I'm surprised that didn't kill that tank from the side. 16. Side armor is only 3. I'm really surprised that didn't kill it. Missed its second shot. Marders with Milan's coming in here. And a Panzer Grenadier squad. The other flame squad that was up here appears to have been killed at some point. I missed that dying. A wooden box sort of holding here, but I don't think he's going to hold this corner for long against those T-64s. Jaeger having to retreat here. I think a wooden box is going to get back in this point. Still plus one to T-Man. He's got that nice advantage. We're only... Just over nine minutes into the game, so there's plenty of time for a wooden box to make this back up if he can retake this point. And hold the center. If he holds the center and retakes this point at the bottom, that means he'll be plus three. But he has to hold the center, and I think he's going to get pushed out of this corner very soon. Two squads of medas coming in. Three squads of medas coming in, sorry. T-64 is badly damaged, but he has a fully repaired one here. And he does have supply there ready to repair. Command infantry coming in, potentially for this bottom corner. Manzi Jaeger here, pulling up on hell of a fight. There's the command in. Oh, I thought that uh, command was about to get hit by the Metis, but it's actually the tanks again that are getting hit by the Metis launcher there. Metis launchers are proving an absolute nightmare for these Leopards in this game. Unfortunately, they're no longer going to be able to hit very effectively with the cohesion being that low, and they will die. Nice munitions truck there to capture. Get some repairs done to those leopards. Metis launcher here. This squad engaging on the Panzer Grenadiers. But look at this. 
very much this corner now in T-Man's control. There's his command coming in. It has been redirected to the top. Command here moving around as well, just to the back of this point. A wooden box is pushing, though. He's not going to stop. He's going to push into this point if he can. He still has that ATGM to worry about. Loads of reinforcements coming in here. Panzer Jaegers specifically, which are obviously anti-tank troops, really. Milan exchanging missiles. Oh, T-64 gets the kill with its missile. Milan dies along with its infantry squad. T-Man pushing on this back bit here. Manages to kill the... I-Hawk that was there. Fliegerforce does manage to get a shot off at the MI. Fliegerforce here attempting to do the same. But the T-64 is now firing at them. Gepard there as well. Five coming in at the bottom there. More infantry. Command is in at the top as expected. We are back to neutralized. A wooden box was catching up a little bit there. 218. He got about halfway thereabouts. Those Panzerjäger are still alive in this corner. What is going on down there? Wooden box just does not seem to be able to kill them. HE bombers coming in here. These were very disappointing at the start of the game. Trying to drop on that tank, but the tank is already moving. Does get out intact. Jets. Oh! That book, single book missile, hit the back one. and Damaged them both. The blast radius on that must be huge. Formation flying is not safe. A lot of reinforcements in down here for T-Man now in the form of infantry mainly. There is a T-64 there as well. In the middle we have this pocket of a wooden box's units that's kind of just sitting there. But look at this. T-Man's pushing this side. Reinforcements have arrived at the top for a wooden box. He potentially can clean up that area. He still has his tanks back here. These infantry will put up a fight, but obviously they are cohesion low. Pushing going on here from a wooden box. He is pushing his vehicles forward. He does have a few infantry squads there. Finally, the Panzer Jäger back here are dead, and he is pushing up his other infantry. T-64 takes a missile, I think, just to stand in Milan there. The Milan going out. But I mean that T-64 is going to clear up these Leopards and these Milans very easily. Or the Fux Milans I should say. Some nice repairing action going on for T-Man as well. These infantry are just surrounded. The building is gone. They're just taking a lot of punishment from long range. MI-24 also coming in to engage on them. Some Strellas moving up there. A wooden box has managed to clear the top here. Will be going up against that T-64 though. And doesn't really have anything particularly long range. Pulling his forces back now. These tanks potentially could be useful, but they need to be close to do damage. T-55's clearing up those infantry. All of these units swinging around the back for T-Man. What is he up to? I assume he's going to come down into that point from behind. Cut off the reinforcements. He's calling in lots of stuff at the top and the centre, but nothing more for the bottom. And that command is pushing round there to get in here. None of these are command units, so they can't cap that point. T-Man playing quite aggressively here, pushing across the centre. Going straight into some Panzer Grenadiers there. Those tanks will not fare well against those Panzer Grenadiers, but in fairness, 
Panzer Grenadiers do have a lot of incoming fire from these tanks at the back. Leo 105 manages to finish the job though. Here come all those Leo 101s to try and help defend this area. HE Bomber coming in again. What's it going for this time? Nothing as it took a shot. Will it take a second? It will and it is down. Metis launches very effective against these Leos. Another Leo is dead. One squad of these infantry died. Leo 1F5 should finish off that tank. Only a glancing blow. Good push here from a wooden box at the bottom. He will probably get in that point. I do notice these units still pushing round here. How is this T-55 still... There it is, finally dead. That Leo 1F5 must have missed a good three or four shots while we were looking at other stuff. MI-24 all the way up here. No anti-air there at the moment for a wooden box. Look at all this firepower for long range going on these infantry. They do not stand a chance. They are getting minced. Cap at the bottom though for a wooden box. Currently plus two. He might catch up in points here. Cluster comes in and hits the back of that point. I don't think it actually got any kills though. But these infantry getting absolutely wrecked. Loads of T-55As coming in. Most of the Metis are now dealt with. There's still another one here, but a lot of them have been killed. Nice foothold in this bottom corner. 1F5 is pushing across the centre here, going up against that meta squad that remains. Another meta squad here now engaging on these 1F5s. Igla going after that recon chopper. And there's all of these units pushing down here. The Leo 1A1A1s getting some good shots off at them. More Leo 1A5s coming in there. Group of T-55s down here for defence. Once again, this area is back under the control of T-Man. He will be pushing out from here, back to try and take this corner, I assume. More reinforcements coming in at the top, though, for a wooden box. A wooden box is going to catch up in points here with... Uh, 22 minutes just under left of this game. It could go either way. There's a lot of red on the map, but equally there's a lot of blue. And right now, a wooden box seems to have the upper hand. But obviously, there's a lot of stuff pushing around the top there. The question is, can a wooden box clear the bottom point completely? Or will he need to pivot to defend the center point? I think your force looking under a bit of threat there. Yeah, all these tanks firing at them. Oh. Yeah, that's not going to... Oh, that one might have just got out of it because it's behind some cover. No, never mind. I spoke too soon. It's getting railed on by all of those tanks. Oh, T-Man making a move here. Wants to clear this point. Has an attack chopper, the tanks. Laying down a lot of fire on the infantry in this building. Really effective with the use of that chopper. Just the command here and a couple of Pioneer Flams. Not going to be any use against these tanks that are coming in. There are the 1A5s here. Cluster coming in for those that... Oh, Cluster veers off. Command is dead at the bottom, though. Back to plus three for T-Man. T-Man has managed to take this top and kill the command that was there by the looks of it. Reinforcements coming in for a wooden box. Cluster coming in here. Dive bombing. Oh, what a beautiful strike. All of those Leo 105s killed. Was it only one? No, there are three of them there, but it's only given us a record of one being destroyed, but there were three there. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure three were destroyed. Must have been because we were all destroyed at the same time. 
It's quite interesting. I didn't realise that. The 105s here doing a good job. Unfortunately, they just weren't there in time to stand against the might of the chopper and tanks that pushed that corner back. Once again, a wooden box finding himself needing to clear this point. And the centre remains in the hands of T-Man. T-Man currently plus three. With T-64s and T-80s on the map now. Another T-80 is called in at the bottom and another T-64. And repair for that T-64. He's certainly going to have plenty of heavy tanks. SPW-70s being really infuriating for a wooden box here. Just mashing on those infantry with the machine guns. Remember, they have two machine guns. A medium and a heavy. Tornado anti-air coming in. Going for this chopper by the looks of it. Will take a hit from a book immediately. And is forced to retreat but is killed with the second shot. Unlucky Mr. Tornado. Itchy Bomber coming in here. Where is that off to? It's going around the back for that chopper, maybe? I guess so. Yeah, there it goes. Gets the kill. We'll be flying straight into that book, though. Book is currently missing. Oh, gets a hit. And the next one also hits. Unlucky. Good idea bringing it in this side, but yeah, it still went past the book. Command back in the center there for a wooden box. He has managed to re-neutralize. Not sure he's going to be able to push the bottom at the moment, though. Certainly looks like there is more in here for T-Man, and he's ready to move his command up as well. Chopper proving to be a bit of a nuisance for a wooden box. Ongoing skirmishing up here. Neither player really looking like they're in a position to push that area. Nor this area here. I think the main fight is going to be down here. Leo 105 managing to do some damage to incoming stuff there. T-55 will finish off that Leo though if it gets close enough. Oh, I'm surprised the Motsuchin didn't get the kill there. Must have just... Been a glancing blow. Feldjäger are finally clearing up this point here. More FS Jäger coming in as well. Command will go back in the bottom here for T-Man. A wooden box having a hard time of it. He doesn't have his own command there either. So this point will go completely to T-Man. Making it plus four once again. Cluster coming in here. Going for that command. He can see the command at the back. The Mock Grenzer can see it. Is hit by the IHOC, is destroyed before it gets to drop its bombs. Something finally going a wooden box's way. But there's the command in the bottom, plus two, about to be plus four. Command called in for a wooden box though. But for the moment, plus four, this will push him past the halfway mark of a thousand points, I would think. Fifteen minutes left to go in this game. T-64 up here, just clearing up random vehicles. T-Man being a little bit more aggressive here, about to find those recon. When engaging them with the tanks. They were already damaged. Panzer Grenadiers coming in here, and a Flieger Force. Some Marders with Milans there as well. Not going to be much use against all of these tanks, unfortunately. No tanks currently busy firing at the infantry. Stunning them down. It's pretty effective. 
And there is the halfway mark passed, and there is the surrender. Commiserations of Wooden Box. That was a brutal game. Obviously, a significant difference in kills to losses there by the end. Team Man played really well. And Wooden Box did very well to get back in that point at the bottom there, but Team Man just kept chugging along, really effectively using those choppers. I'm really curious how many kills those choppers got. In terms of MVP. The book was doing an amazing job. Look at all of those kills. T64s were cleaning up. You know, surprisingly... Oh, well, the MI-24 did alright down here. Four squads. I honestly expected the choppers to have killed more than they did. In that case, really, I think MVP goes to the book. I mean, that did really well. Commiserations of Wooden Box. Well played, team man. Thanks, everyone, for joining me. Stay tuned over the weekend. I'm sure we will have more Wano. I hope you all have a great Easter for those who celebrate. I'll see you all soon.